keep on making a way. God, keep on making a way for you. God, keep on making a way for you. God, keep on making a way for you. You just keep on breaking your idols. You keep on breaking your idols. You don't make a way for you. Hold on. I hear God say, hold on. I hear God say, hold on. I hear God say, hold on. He said, we've been back Monday night. The joy coming in the morning. In the morning, let us not be weary in the way of doing. We shall reap if we faint not. Don't faint in the dark. Don't give up in the dark. Don't suicide in the dark. Don't backslide in the dark. Don't go to Thailand in the dark. Keep going. Keep pushing. Keep running. Keep pushing. Keep running. Keep pushing. Pushing you to your victory, pushing you to saving, pushing you to serving, pushing you back to the wheel. Say, my hope shall I see? Come on, tell God, thank you on this morning. Mark 11, verse 17 says, Mark 11, 17. Someone said, God, been good to me. Here. It may have been sick, but I'm still here. Yeah. So I've been sick, but I'm still here. I've been through the storm, but I'm still here. I've been through the pains of suffering, but I'm still here. This is Mark 11, chapter 11, verse 17. Then he taught, saying unto them, Is it not written, My house should be called? Of all nations, the house of prayer. But you have made that name of thieves. Amen. God says, My house should be called the house of prayer. But some people have made God's house into thieves and just, Amen. Doing on some every day. Not living holy. Not doing what God called them to do. Not doing the work God called them to do. Amen. Not doing the doctrine right. Everybody's switching the doctrine. You fit their needs. Amen. The boss of my house should be called the house of prayer. You should have a prayer life. You should pray daily. You should have a relationship with God. You should love God. Whatever you say, my father, my father, he's your father. Whatever you want for God to ask you, he will answer. He will to pray. He said, my house should be called the house of prayer. This is what you live at that time to pray. Amen. You should pray every day. Some say every day. Every day. When you're tired, when you ain't tired, you pray while you're on the way to church. Pray on the way to work. Pray in the shower. Amen. God made some time out to pray to be the Lord that my house should be called the house of prayer. God wants to have a prayer life. He wants to get to know him. He wants to have a relationship with him. Amen. He wants to call on him when he's time of trouble. Some say time of trouble. Some say call on him. He said, I'm the Lord that healed thee. When you're sick, call on Jesus. He said, I'm the Lord that healed thee. And if you need a miracle, call on Jesus. If you need a blessing, call on Jesus. Amen. You're tired, call on Jesus. Sometimes you get a little confused. Say, God, move the confusion out of me. Give me peace in the midst of the storm. Life break in confusion. Amen. Life break in mess in confusion. But God says when your speech, peace be still. Peace in the midst of your stomach. Peace in the midst of your family. Peace in the midst of your marriage. Peace in the midst of your job. God wants to have peace. Amen. Let's go to the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 23, verse 22. And Jesus answered, said unto them, Have faith in God. Well, it's a hell of faith. You may be seated. First, you got to have a prayer life, right? Amen. You should be saved. You have problems. Then you got to have faith. And then when you have a faith, you don't see it. But you got to believe. Amen. Some of you have a faith. Just come to prayer. You haven't have answered yet. No, no, you're not going to get it. Then you're down the line. It's coming. And some of you pray for you haven't gotten yet. 
you have to wait until God do a new move on you sometime in the season. I'm going to give you that house on my time in the season. I'm going to give you that job on my time in the season. You don't get married on my time in the season. You don't get that promotion in my time in the season. You don't get that promotion in my time in the season. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we always, sometimes I got to be walking with God. You know, I always be a yes. Sometimes you just know us. Because sometimes you don't know God wants if you're not the dumb enough to go in that room yet. That's a word for somebody. Amen. That's a word for somebody. But what you need to do too quick, you can mess up your suicide. You can mess up the blessing. Because I got to get dealt with you. You have to grow in the spirit. You have to come up in the spirit. And because you're not hiding the spirit of the enemy, it's not going to deceive you, to brainwash you, to take what you're not. So suppose I got to elevate you in the spirit, said the Lord my God. He said, that I'm about, that God said, let that come my right, and you got to have faith. The enemy going to attack you. Left to right. Every week, you got a real sign that you're going to live right. So it's like somebody said, I'm going to live real sign And I got some sign from last week. I got some sign from all the week. I got some sign from last month. Now I got some real assignments. See, the enemy don't want to lift you up. You want to hold it down. But God said, You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You can do all that to Christ and strip it in. He doesn't want you to die. He wants you to give up. He wants you to mess up your assignment. He wants you to mess up your test. You can test. Whatever you pray for, deliver for you're going to get attacked with. If you pray for you, deliver from, from, from gospel, or lying, or fighting, or confusion, the spirit, the enemy going to start to attack you in the area. And God said, well, okay, now it's your time to, it's your time. God allowed the test to come out to show you where you at. God already know where you at. And when you find out where you at, you know some of the now I know where I'm at. Some of the I did some things that I shouldn't have did. I can't hear you. I did some things I shouldn't have did. I said some things I shouldn't have said. But God showed me I'm not there yet. But God's still working on me. I'm working on myself. I'm better than what I used to be. Amen. You really need to know what you used to be because we need to test. Amen. You would have got my hand. Come on, talk to me. If you're not here, you should be doing a guy's hand. Come on, amen. amen. It would have been a big mess. It would have been an argument. It would have been a fight. It would have been some stuff that took place. And they're showing you, so you said, I don't roll something. Somebody said, I don't roll something. Because what I want to do, I don't do it. So they're showing me, I don't roll something. I'm getting there. Look at this myself, I'm getting there. So I'm working on myself. I'm working on myself. I'm trying to get the spirit of love in me. I'm trying to get the God in me. I'm trying to get the spirit of love and God and peace and joy. I'm trying to get my spirit man to hold back. I'm trying to get my spirit man to hold back. Sit 
together and you see how the devil coming in. Yeah. You ever sit there and plot and just see how the enemy coming in and which way you trying to come in. Yeah. Yeah. And when you start seeing the devil, yeah. and when you see it, yeah. amen, and want to give the power to bind up the devil, to bind up his authority, about the plots and plans. The Bible says we bind the earth, we bind the devil, we lose the earth, we lose the devil. Give all the praise. Everybody's standing. We're going to 